we're going to start with our bird character. And we've got him here. He's not really doing anything. This is his default pose. Uh, characters are modeled and rigged symmetrically, which you can see here. This guy is a... Uh, He's pretty straightforward, uh, which looks horrible for animation purposes. What we want to do is give him a more natural look. Uh, we're going to start the, the uh, flight in this, and then in lesson five and six, we're going to continue these. Uh, but to start out, let's... All right, so what I want to do with this is get a... This is a, the, the flight animation is going to be something like if you're playing a game and you're playing as the bird, you would be flying through the sky. This would be your basic locomotion. So what I'm going to do is select all of this. Um, here's my cog. I'm going to bring the character up a little bit off the ground. Now, notice we're in FK mode on the legs. That's why that came up as a group. I'm going to just set a key on this. And I just want him to fly kind of rhythmically at first, and then he's going to have a bit of a glide, and this is going to be set up as a loop. So let's say uh, maybe every 30 frames comes back up to this. 15, I'm going to drop this down. Make sure that this is set to real time, my playback speed, so I can see what's actually the speed that is happening. So I just have him going up and down right there. He's not doing anything, he's just moving as a group right now. And that's pretty boring, he doesn't do a whole lot. So I'm going to... Um, just kind of duplicate these keys. So I'm I'm left clicking on the key that I want and then I'm middle mousing on the destination for it. And then I press S to set a key. And what that's doing is copying the key. So I want him to do maybe three flaps and then a little bit of a glide. So let's uh let's copy some more of these keys over here. So he's gonna go flap, 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 and then he's gonna glide. And then I want that last frame to match the first frame, so I'm going to set a key on that. All right, so in between here, I want the glide to kind of have a little bit of motion on it. So I'm going to just kind of go in here and move them like this a little bit. Set a key on that. And then here, I'm going to have them kind of come like this. Let's see what that looks like. Flap, flap flap, and he's going to glide a little bit, and then come back to the beginning. Okay, so that's really clunky. Maya is doing all the interpolation for us, and Maya doesn't always do the best job. So you want to go in and adjust that. So I'm going to go into my graph editor here and pull this up so you can see what I'm seeing here. So the first thing I want to do is I want to flatten my end tangents so that I get a nice... Um, blend between. And I want to view infinity so I can see what's happening. Now the other thing I want to do is I want to cycle this so that it will loop. Um, so curves pre-infinity cycle and you see how this repeats here and then post-infinity cycle. Now you notice you can see the curve here but I have nothing to select and that's because this here is actually driving that that key. So it'll basically just loop whatever's in here over and over and over. Um, one thing I want to do is, before I get too far, is I want to offset my translation and rotation so that he moves a little differently than he rotates. Um, and actually, before I do that, I'm going to go in and add a little bit of rotation to this guy. So I'm going to just rotate him up a little bit, copy that key to the end, and then maybe in between here, he rotates down a little bit. And I'm just freehanding this. I'm not copying these. That'll give it a little bit of variety, even though it's a cycle, um, to make it look a little more natural. Anytime you can do that, it's it's worth doing. All right, so that's what he's doing. Now I want to go in and I want to offset my rotation and my translation. So I'm going to go into my graph editor again, and I'm just going to select my rotation keys, and I want him to rotate before he gets to those positions. So I'm just going to take all of this, and I could, if I hold shift and middle mouse, I could slide this as a group. What I want to do is I want to do a function here. So up here, you've got your stats, and your first box is which frame these keys are on, and your second box is the value. And you can use functions up here 
to, to affect all of these keys globally. So if I select all of these keys, and I just have the rotations here, I can go into this first box and I can say minus equals, uh, let's say, 5. And what that's going to do is it's going to back up all of my frames, all my keys by 5 frames. So now this is what I've got. Do you see how he kind of steers into the, the flapping pose? That's going to add a lot of natural motion to it. And I haven't done anything except animate the cog. Nothing, there's nothing else animated yet. There's no keys on any of this stuff. It's just the cog, it's just center of gravity. Um, that's basically like when you're a little kid and you're holding an action figure and you're making them fly around. It's the exact same thing. You're using the cog, the center of gravity, to kind of steer and move it around. So basically, little kids are great animators. Just, you know, you got to follow that through to the computer. And basically, that's, that's what I'm doing here, just making this bird fly around. But right now he's not flying, he's just kind of moving. So what we want to do is turn this into some flight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a set for my wings. Just clear this here. Uh, clear all. And I'm going to select just the, the main parts of the wings. Let me move this up here so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to select this piece, this piece, this piece, and this piece. And then the same on the other side. I'm going to select all of these things here in the script editor and middle mouse drag them up here. And I'm going to say that as a middle script. And I'm going to call that, uh, go to my shelf editor here. I'm going to call that last script that we just made. I'm going to call this wings. Save all shelves. OK, so now when I select this, it selects the wings. Now, it's not selecting these feathers. These are highlighted just because they're children of these pieces here. What it's doing is just selecting those things that I just told it to. So what I want to do is I want to start to kind of key in my wing flaps. Now, when a bird flies, what it's doing is it's, it's moving through the, the air, um, which is a volume. It's got to, imagine if you're in a, a swimming pool. Imagine this bird's underwater. It's got to push and pull the fluid around itself to actually propel through space. So that's what we want to do with these wings. We want to make sure that they look like they're supporting what the bird is doing. So... What's happening is when the bird is down, that's when the wings come up so that they can start to kind of come down to flap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to key these poses here. I'm just going to bring these <clears throat> up when the bird is down. Get these middle bits here. And for starters, I'm just going to move these at the same time. So there's going to be a lot of twinning here where you've got the same pose on both sides. I'll, I'll go back and fix that later maybe. Um, but for now, okay, so we want to get a nice wide wing here so that he catches the maximum amount of air to push through through the, uh, through the air here. All right, so I'm going to select my wings. I'm going to key that. Now here at the start, I'm going to take these zero these out again. And I'm going to pose this down. And it doesn't have to be super extreme. And like I said, I'm going to go in and I'm going to offset these things in a little bit. Let me just get these a little bit better here. I'm going to pose these and key them. Oops. So I want them to um, kind of push back a little bit when these, so these going forward. Okay, I'm going to select my wings and key that. So now I've got this. Caw, caw. Okay, there he is. Um, I'm going to duplicate these keys. So on frame 30, I want that. Uh, on frame 60, I want that. And then in between here, I've got this. And we had, what, three wing flaps. One, two, three. And then they're going to come back up. That, like, here. And I actually want them on 90 to kind of level out, because that's where he's going to be kind of gliding. He's not, uh, he's not actively beating his wings now at this point. So I want a nice kind of soaring pose. So if you look up and you see a bird gliding through the air, that's the pose we want here. It's a nice, 
wide wings just kind of gliding through the sky. Let me get these posed a little bit better here. All right, wings. And actually angle them down a little bit. There we go. So it's going to hold that pose until it needs to duplicate here in the last frame. So actually, I'm going to hold this kind of until 135. Now you see in here, Maya is just letting these wings drift a little bit. I'm going to leave that for now. And we should be okay. Let's see. Okay. I've got uh, all this working here. Looks pretty good. Now, like I said, we want to offset this stuff so it doesn't look quite so bad. So what I'm going to do is I want the wings to lead from the shoulders out. So you're moving the shoulder, which then moves the the elbow, which then moves the uh, end of it there, the hand, for lack of a better word. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these, these bits here. I've just got the wrist and the elbows here. I'm going to open up my graph editor. Actually, before I do that, let me select all my wings. I'm going to do the same thing I did to the body here. I'm going to flatten these end tangents here. And I'm going to pre-infinity cycle, post-infinity cycle. That will give me them doing the same thing. I'm going to go in here and flatten those for now. And I'll probably, probably adjust these later. But that's going to ensure that when I move these, uh, they'll keep cycling, regardless of if I go past zero or not. All right, so I've got my wings. Now I want to um, select just the wrists and then the elbows. And I'm going to use that same function that I used before. I'm going to select the keys here. And I'm going to say, uh, like I said, I want these to happen later. Maybe I'll leave those where they're at, actually, and select the shoulders and the clavicles here. And I'll go into this first box here and say minus equals 2. And that'll take these and back them up two frames. I'll leave the elbows where they were, and then I'll take the wrists, and I'll go in here and say plus equals three. So now they'll we'll get some sequential breaking along the wings. And you can see there's just a little bit of lag behind there, which is cool. Um, so now what we want to do is we want to get the wings so that as they're coming up, they fold so that the bird can kind of easily cut through the water, through the air. Think of it as if you're swimming or you're cutting through the water. Uh, you want to have a nice uh, kind of M pose with this uh, so that you can get a nice change in, in shape in the wing. So on the way up, I want these to be um, kind of down like this. And don't be afraid to go super extreme. You can always go back and change it. So, and then as they come down, they do that. And then as they come back up, that's where I want them to be kind of bent again. Let's do the same thing here. As they come up, we're going to counter that and have them come down. And then here, we're just going to leave them for now. And then here, as they come down, I'm going to take these and counter them back the other way. So now we've got this. It starts to look more like a flap and less like just moving stuff around. All right, so let's get that uh, the wrist bits working for us now. So let's select that wrist and this wrist. And I'm just going to go in. And oh, are these on, not on the same frame? Let's see. I've got that. Oh, I've offset my step. That's right. I've got that, and I've got this. Um, and actually, I don't need the translate key, so this is a good chance here where I can clean up a little bit. So all I've really done so far is keyed the rotations, but I pressed S to set a key, which set keys on everything. I can go in and right-click this and say Delete Selected, and that'll blow away the keys that I don't need. So you see here, these are empty, but these are like this uh, rose color. 
that means that there's keys on here somewhere. So I want to keep those, but that cleans up cleans up the uh, the keys a little bit. Anyway, okay, so I've got uh, here. I want to counter this rotation. Same thing we did with the elbows. I'm just going to bring this up, and maybe I'll even rotate it in a little bit like this. And here, maybe I want it lagged behind a little bit, so I'm going to bring it up like this a little bit. Again, here I'm, I'm just countering the motion, and I'm kind of offsetting it from what the elbows are doing. Maybe here I'll let it come up a little bit. So basically, you want to get some flexibility in this uh, in these wings. And here, as they come up, I'll do the same thing. I'll bring this down. Maybe we'll get one nice big flap. So we'll kind of get these even more extreme. And we'll just counter this a little bit. And we'll let Maya handle this in between here. And then here we'll we'll counter them up. All right, so this is what we've got now. Let me turn off my curves. Let me change my background. If you hold Alt and press B, it'll Maya will cycle through the colors in the background, so it'll make your character a little bit easier to see. Maybe I haven't done anything with the tail yet. I haven't done anything really with the body yet. All we've got are keys on the cog and keys on the wings. So we can see our bird kind of flapping around. We're looking at it from a couple different angles so we can see that it works. It's looking pretty good, I think. So let me, um, let me first get the, the legs doing what they need to do. Now, the legs don't do a whole lot on a bird flight usually. So I'm just going to kind of set these and then forget about them. So I'm going to pose these up, bring the legs in. Birds tend to tuck their their legs. It's all about streamlining. So I'm going to set some keys on that. Let me get the, uh, the knees doing what they need to do. I'm really kind of tucking these up out of the way. Um, let me get the feet. Get that foot in this. No, that's the thigh. Let's get the foot. There's the foot. There's that foot. Bring this down. We'll key those. Um, and then the individual knuckles here of the toes. And if you're having problems selecting this stuff, you can always orbit your camera around and find what you're looking for. Let's get those. I'm going to bring these down. I'm just going to tuck them in like that. Um, let's set keys on those. And I'm actually going to take the feet. What's the okay? I'm going to take the feet and I'm going to kind of bring them in like this, just to make them look a little more natural. Set keys on that, and then I'm going to whoops. And then I'm going to select the um, those back knuckles here, back toe, and pose those. So that's good. He's ready to um, if he needs to grab a branch or something a little bit. He can. So let's see what that looks like. Let me hide my curves here. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now, what I want to do here is get the tail going and get the head neck going, and then we'll add some secondary stuff on some of his wiggly bits. Um, so let's get that working. I'm going to select the tail from the outside in. I'm just holding shift while I'm selecting these. I'm going to select this little bit too here, the butt control. And what I want to do is I'm going to look at this from the side. Change the color of my background so I can see a little better. And what I want to do is I want this to kind of do almost what the wings are doing. So I'm 15. I want this to kind of come up like this. And we're going to offset these two. Um, but for now, we're just going to pose them all together. So that there like that, so that that's going to kind of do that. And then so 30, that's going to be the same key there. So I'm just left clicking and then middle clicking and setting key. Um, let's repeat that key, this key, 75, and then 
90, that'll straighten out again. And then I want my end frame to be the same as my start frame. Set some keys on this too, just to, to do it. Okay, so this is what we've got with the tail right now. Now what I want to do is I want to offset this stuff and give it some counter animation as well. So I'm going to go in here and just like the wings angle down, um, I want to do the same thing with the tail. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to counter this on the way up. Just on the way up for now. And it's down like this, down like this. And then here I'm going to let it kind of come up. So this is what we've got with the tail. Okay, that's looking pretty good. And let's start to offset this stuff. I'm just going to select these from the outside in. I'm not selecting the butt joint or that first tail knuckle here. I'm going to offset these. Actually, first I want to cycle these. So let me select those as well. The, that butt joint and the all the tail. And I'm going to select all these keys. And first and last frame, I'm going to flatten these just so we get a straight translation. And I'm going to pre-infinity cycle, post-infinity cycle. So they're doing the same thing now all the time. Um, let me deselect these bits here. So I've just got these. And I'm going to offset these by one frame. Plus equals one. And then do it again. Plus equals one. So I'm getting sequential breaking on the tail. So plus equals one. Again here, plus equals one, and I'm just deselecting the one before it each time and offsetting it by one. All right, so now this is what we've got with the tail. So it just gives it a little bit of flexibility. It's looking pretty good. Let's do the same thing with the, I'm not going to move the chest, really, because uh, the chest has the wings on it. That could cause some problems here. Um, I'm going to move the head and neck so that they're always kind of doing something nice here. Let's see. Set keys on that, on 30, on 60, on 90, on 150, and then in between here where I've got my, my in-between keys here where it's at the other pose. Let's see. And then it's doing the glide here, and then back to the beginning. Set a key on this. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want I want the head to kind of lead the action a little bit. So with all that stuff selected, I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to same thing I did with the other animation keys. I'm going to flatten those, and then pre-infinity cycle, post-infinity cycle, which will give me a nice loop. And I'm going to Go in here and let's try to move this so you can see. Uh, I'm going to go in and I want the head to lead this time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select um, the head and this bit of the neck. I'm going to say minus equals 2 and then just the head and say minus equals 2. So now I've got the head kind of leading the action a little bit. Now the last bit of this is just, uh, let me hide this so you can see what's going on here. The last bit of this is just going to be a nice way to um, kind of finish it up and clean it up. So there's our bird here. He's flying. But it doesn't look windy. When he's flying, it doesn't look windy. So we need to fix that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the little end bits and just jiggle them. And that's really easy to do. Let's see. I'm going to select my curves here. I've got this bit on his head. Um, you can see I'm moving that around. And all I want to do is I want to just make these flap. So I can do this kind of cyclically. Um, so I'm going to set a key on my first frame there. And then I'm going to go forward four frames. I'm going to set the same key. 
Then I'm going to go back two frames and I'm going to just bring this up like this. So in my graph editor, my graph editor, this is what I have. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to flatten my tangents, pre infinity cycle, post infinity cycle, and now that head bit should wiggle. It's hard to see in my playback here because it's you can see it moving a little bit. Um, you know, as I go frame by frame here, you can see that that comb on top of the head moves quite a bit. Um, and all that's doing is kind of making it look like it's windy. And usually you want to wiggle those bits pretty fast. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to do the same thing on my leg feathers. So I'm just going to set a key on the first frame, go forward four frames, set another key, go back two frames, I'm going to bring these up like this, and maybe I'll even kind of animate them in and around a little bit like this. And I'm going to go in and uh, my graph editor, select my keys, flatten my tangents, pre-infinity cycle, post-infinity cycle. Now I want these to all do something different, so I'm going to go in, I'm just going to offset these. I'm going to say plus equals one, and then I'm going to deselect one of them, and maybe... Uh, plus equals one, and then uh, maybe deselect this one, and plus equals one, and then deselect this one, uh, plus equals one. So now I've got this going on, and those leg bits. Now, if I scrub through it, you can see they're moving quite a bit. That's looking pretty good. Okay, so the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in, I'm going to add similar motion to that, to the extreme bit. So I'm going to add that to the tail pieces, and I'm going to add that to the feather pieces. And then we'll have our finished bird. Um, now we've already animated this a little bit like this. So one way that we can add a little bit of that flap to this, but keep all the animation that's there, so we can add an animation layer. So I'm going to go to my animation layer here. I'm going to uh, add that create layer from selected. So now my animation layer is, is that wing bit here. I'm going to set a key. Make sure that you're on the anim layer one there. I'm going to set a key. I'm going to go two frames, actually four frames, set another key, and then go back two frames and add that. And so maybe here I'll go and I'll Okay, so in my graph editor I can see in my animation layer one, my tail is there. I've just got those keys. I'm gonna cycle those, cycle those, and uh should be good to go. If I scrub through it, you'll see.